Today I'm going to be pruning my potted lemon trees and I'm going to show you exactly how I do that to get the biggest harvest possible, the biggest lemons possible, and to get the most out of these dwarf trees. I'm Diana with The Fruit Grove. So it's a beautiful January winter day here in East Texas. It's stunning. Uh, I wish winter was always like this, but here in zone 8B, this is a very uh, temperature swinging Place. It gets really hot in the summer and it also gets quite cold. We regularly have several days over the winter that dip down into the low 20s and below. So what that means is I've had to put my citrus trees in pots. Now luckily citrus trees love that. There's a lot of dwarf varieties available and they can do extremely well in pots, especially if you prune them to get the maximum harvest possible. So what I have here, uh, this guy over here is a variegated pink lemon. It makes beautiful yellow big lemons with these pretty green stripes all over them as they ripen. And when you open up the fruit, it's a pale pink color. It's really, really cool, tastes delicious. And then this is a Meyer lemon tree, that wonderful hybrid between a lemon and a tangerine that's a little milder and just a touch sweeter than a regular lemon. And again, this guy did really well this year. I just harvested fruit from both of these trees. Now in my sort of temperate, mild climate, these trees blossom and fruit pretty much all year round. I get a big flush of blossoms in the spring and often again in the fall. But as you can see, and I'll bring you closer in just a second, I actually have the beginnings of some blossoms and some baby fruits on both of these trees. So no matter what I do, there's almost never a window of opportunity where there are no fruits or blossoms on these trees. Now, the best time to prune potted citrus like this is after you've harvested the fruit and before they blossom. And like I said here, that doesn't exactly happen, but there are few blossoms and considering the weather is mild and they're not growing a lot right now, they're not putting out a lot of new growth, this is a really good time to prune. For most zones, it's probably gonna fall ideally somewhere between February and April is gonna be your best time to prune your potted lemons. Um, the biggest thing to avoid is any time that's gonna extremely stress your trees. So in my case, it's gonna be avoiding the extreme heat of the middle of the summer. I mean, who wants to be outside then anyway, right? So that's what I'm gonna to do today. I'm gonna to prune these guys. I'm gonna bring you just a little bit closer so you can see a little bit better what I'm gonna do. Citrus trees don't need as much pruning as some other fruit trees do, but they can always benefit from a little bit of trimming. Um, what we really want to concentrate on are the problem areas. So things like uh, root suckers that are coming up from down at the bottom of the plant, um, those straight up in the air water shoots that tend to come off. I don't have too many of those to worry about right now, but anything that's growing straight up out of the plant is probably not going to bear fruit. So you can go ahead and trim that. Um, other things to pay attention to are any areas that are diseased or somehow damaged, maybe a branch partially broke from some heavy fruit. Um, I've got a little bit of yellowing to my leaves here, probably due to a fertilizing issue. I did just fertilize these, so hopefully that'll take care of that. Um, but so yeah, those are the types of things that you wanna look out for. Pruning is really gonna improve the air circulation in these trees, um, which is gonna keep disease from spreading as much. Um, again, I live in 8B and um, we have a lot of disease pressure here. It gets really hot and humid in the summer. So I want the air to be able to circulate and hopefully keep any disease or those kinds of problems to a minimum. Um, pruning is also gonna allow more light to get to the center of the tree. You can see it just gets a little crowded in here, but lemons can grow throughout the tree. So I want light to be able to get through to every single branch, to every single lemon on the tree. Now the main pruning you're gonna do is during this season, right after harvest, before you have that really big influx of blooms. Although like I mentioned, I can see there are some blooms starting to come. I don't know if you can see this, but here's a little baby lemon. I've got another one over here. So I'm gonna do my best. There's really no time that these trees take a complete break. But this is when I'm gonna do the bulk of my pruning. As the tree matures, it should be less and less. Um, these are pretty young. I only planted them in these pots last spring. So they've been in these pots just about a year. Um, and so this is probably one of the heaviest prunings I'm gonna do with these trees. Every year, I'm mostly gonna be keeping an eye out for those 
root suckers and water shoots and any damaged areas. But right now, I'm gonna start tackling pruning my two lemon trees. I'm gonna start with this Meyer lemon. Okay, so I've got my pruning shears here. These have been thoroughly cleaned and disinfected. They're nice and sharp, so hopefully we'll get some good sharp cuts. That's what you want when you're pruning. You have to, have to, have to disinfect your pruning shears before you make any cuts. Any sort of disease or problems that may come from another plant can very, very easily be transferred to the plant you're pruning. Um, that tissue, once you cut open the plant, is very sensitive to disease um, and to pathogens that could harm the plant. Um, and so that's the important thing. I like to take just a rag, a clean cloth, and um, soak it in some rubbing alcohol or it's called isopropyl alcohol and I just give it a really thorough wipe down so they look really good. Let me make my first cuts. I'm going to start with these ones I'm sure of, these little guys right here. Now when you're pruning you want to make sure to keep kind of taking a step back and making sure you like the look of the plant and the form overall of what you're doing. So that's what I'm gonna be doing as I go. If you're not sure exactly where you want to cut, I start with what I'm sure of. And in this case, it's some of these really high reaching branches. And then as I make one cut at a time, it's a little easier to see the decisions that I want to make about how I want this tree to grow. Okay, so there we go. I think that's where I'm going to leave it for the season. And we're gonna see how this guy grows and develops. And um, next year, I'll tackle what I see and see what needs pruning and see how this year's crop is too. I mean, that's the really big indicator, isn't it? We want the lemons to be as good as possible. So here we go. Let's see how this Meyer lemon grows. So now with the pink variegated lemon, I've got some different issues to tackle. It has a little bit more growth in the middle of the tree and I've also got this giant sort of sucker that's grown out of the bottom that I honestly should have cut a long time ago and I'm resolved to keep a closer eye on that this season. But that's gonna be the first thing to go and then I'll start trimming from there. Got my sunglasses on now that the sun is fully in my face. So let's do this. So there's my finish variegated pink lemon tree. I think I'm going to leave it there for the moment. Um, I really concentrated on eliminating a lot of the inwardly growing branches so that we have that sort of open center structure um, and shortening a lot of the branches. I want these to branch out so that the tree overall just kind of gets a wider form. Um, yeah, so it's still the middle of winter, so I will probably need to bring these guys into the garage again to protect them when we inevitably have another cold snap or five or whatever is going to be in store for us over the next couple of months. But hopefully again when uh, they start growing in the spring, they're going to be ready to shoot out new growth at all these areas where I see blossoms. And hopefully we'll have a really beautifully formed, healthy, and ready to fruit tree. So that's it, that's how I prune my lemon trees. And I'm excited to see what these guys have in store for me this season, what kind of fruit I'm gonna get. But that's all there is to it. So thank you for joining me today and I'll see you in the next video.